Wow, y'all. Hey, YouTube. This is Alicia42. And that is not my age. <laughs> it's just something to... Well, anyway. Remembering Michael Jackson. Man, I'm still in shock. I can't believe it. It's like... Michael Jackson? I know he was in exile in Bahrain for the longest, but, you know, I was glad he was back. I heard about him, you know, getting ready to do a comeback, and, you know, you just, he's so young. I mean, I'm not far from his age, but, gosh, you just really um, uh, realize how precious life is when someone, you know, leaves, and and it sure lets you know that it doesn't matter how much you have, how much money you have. Lord, have mercy when God ready for you. All that does not even matter. So if you are around people, loved ones, sisters, brothers, cousins, whatever, you know, just try to love uh, people as much as you can while you can because it used to be here today, gone tomorrow, now it's here today, gone today, so. I mean, my heart just feels like, wow. I used to, I remember uh, being a little girl when Michael Jackson was very popular back in the early 70s. I was like in the second and third grade. I remember seeing him on Soul Train. I remember t arguing with my little playmate saying I was going to marry him. Michael Jackson was my boyfriend, you know. And, you know, prerequisite for uh, talking to the little boys, if your afro wasn't big, it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> I wasn't hollering at you. So, you know, I just thought that was really cute. A lot of people tried to, you know, be like him. I remember my little brother when the, I think it was the Thriller Jackets came out. He had one, and he was kind of chubby, so it was kind of funny to see him with his little, trying to pull his little piece of hair to the front of his face and and wear that little jacket with them green blue jeans on that was high waters and them white tube socks <laughs> and them penny loafers. So, you know, I've seen a lot of people try to emulate. I remember my nephew, honey, he had that tape with uh, Smooth Criminal. It was a cassette. Honey, he thought one of his little sisters and brothers had got hold of his tape, baby. He was tearing the house up. He was ready to go to war for that tape. So, Michael Jackson really have touched a lot of people's lives, I'm sure. A lot of people can tell you stories of, you know, how someone in their family or even themselves, you know, uh, looked back and uh, had someone trying to emulate Michael Jackson. So... Hang on, my phone is probably somebody don't want me anything. Most time when people call me, they want something. But um, all I got to say is uh, rest in peace, Michael, because you know what? With uh, all the stuff that's going on today, you are truly in a better place. I hope. You know, I always believe that when people leave here, you know, they go into the light. You know, they go to a better place, a place with no pain. You know, a place where um, they don't have to worry about being judged. And, you know, I just feel for his children that's going to grow up without him because, you know, their mother, I don't know what the deal was. It's none of my business, you know, or it's not really a, really a big part of their life. So, but they're going to be surrounded by people who love them because they have aunts and uncles that really, you know, going to take care of them and hold it down for them. So he will be sadly missed every day. I can't believe he's gone and I'm going to miss him. And it's kind of ironic because a lot of um, music uh, icons have left and it's on the 25th of the month. It, I got a text today that said, uh, let me find it. Uh, Let me find it. Oh, here it goes. It said James Brown, December 25th. Aaliyah, August 25th. Left Eye, April 25th. And Michael Jackson, June 25th. 
I was like, well, you know, I never really thought about it, but that is kind of ironic. But, you know, it is what it is, and um, I'm going to miss Michael Jackson, you know. I was always hoping he'd come back, you know, after that trial and having been acquitted twice. You know, I just wish people would just leave him alone. It's like, you know, when you're in the public eye, you have to go through so many changes. I mean, you can't do anything. Everything you do is under scrutiny. And you know what? He don't even have to worry about that no more. So, um, now I guess they'll just be, you know, focusing on his children. And I hope they leave them alone and leave his family alone and allow them the time that it takes to grieve because, you know, for his mother, his father, his sisters and brothers and his children, that's going to be something that, you know, in a couple of weeks, you know, the general public, you know, they, we're going to go on with our lives. But, you know, they're going to still be left there after they uh, do the autopsies, after they do um you know everybody put their two cents worth in that family's still gonna be grieving so you know i i hope that everyone and if there's anybody uh sees this allow that family you know a chance to you know for some closure and you know for their their um uh, moments that they're gonna need and not be all up in their face with cameras because you know i could imagine losing a sibling or a, a a close family member and every time I turn around somebody up in my face somebody calling me it's broadcast on the TV it's just you know damn give somebody a break you know what I'm saying you know give a person a chance to to just absorb it to just you know deal with it just you know let that family grieve in peace leave them alone that's what I would be saying if it were me if it was my brother you know y'all need to raise up fall back, you know, give us a moment. But anyway, my condolences go out to um, the family and everyone with the, that feels that empty spot that Michael Jackson once filled. Rest in peace, Michael. And I'm out.